Hello everyone, Dastronaut here. Just thought I'd do a fun little opening, opening this. But before we get into that, um, I am going to be reviewing this product instead of just simply showing off the cards. Um, and as part of that is the packaging. So the packaging came in this. It's very, very nice. Um, the shredded cardboard really helps prevent damage and all things like that. And they actually sent me a handmade letter. I, of course, blocked out my name, but I hope you find this, uh, hope this letter finds you well. On behalf of the whole team, we wanted to express our gratitude. Eh, basically, it's just a thank you note for purchasing from them, Maya. Um, really nice touch. They actually wrote my name on the on the on the card in hand, but I didn't want to show that because it's my name. Okay, so first off, packaging. It's pretty good. Um, first off. This was like, I think like $35, $40, somewhere around that. Kind of like a Elite Trainer Box kind of price. Sorry. Just trying to get some cords out of the way. One second. blow that off darn cats get everywhere so it's made by Maya um, packaging and this is just like an elite trainer box it just has six booster packs one coin 60 game point chips and a um, playing field it is beautifully packaged it is beautifully sealed one thing that um, concerns me is this blockchain supported um, a lot of indie card games that I know of that implemented that kind of process did not last at all um, and it was just a, a very poor gimmick so you can see here on the back they actually have seven different rarities I don't know the names of the rarities but um, they have seven different ones let me see if I can get this open I don't have my knife on me otherwise I'd use my knife so we're going to go ahead and try to get into this. Hopefully the blockchain thing is not related at all to the card game. So we can just kind of ignore it. All right. I did want to, since they went through the extra effort in the packaging and in the in the litter, I wanted to give them like an honest review. So, like I said, anything blockchain-y immediately has me on guard. Besides that, also the price point, I me mean, for and oh, here's the play field. It appears like it is. And they glue it to the top. It looks like it is just. A hard paper one I will show you that later so these are the game chips here's my coin that was I guess supposed to be there and came loose it's a pretty nice coin so Um, so for the amount of packs you get, I mean, $40 for an indie card game, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, oh, they have blockchain supported on the card as well. Um, but their booster box is like 200 bucks. I was like, okay, that is ridiculous for an indie trading card game. So that's definitely a minus on them. Uh... Let's see, it has 480 possible cards. Each pack contains six normal cards, two rare cards, one collector rare or rarer card, 
No specific card is guaranteed. Okay. So we're gonna get started here. I, I'm not gonna do pull tab. That's how you damage corners. That's how you damage corners. So the, the packs themselves are nice. Um, back of the card is not terrible, but I don't like this. You see that? I don't like that. Is that like that? On yeah, that seems very prone to scuffing. They might want to workshop that. Okay. Spina fruticus uh, and antiquity, oh, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Some kind of raptor. It looks like this is uh, 3D generated. Oh, I see. I see the blockchain thing now. Okay, I guess I have to block that out. So, let me do it like this. Then we have a little raptor guy. So it looks like some of them look like they're 3D generated and other ones are like painted on. Oh, we got a fish. We got a fish. Okay, so this is a rare. It's textured where it's silver. Oh, it's textured down here too. This is our collector or higher. It looks like, I don't know what kind of rarity this is, but yeah, it's it's already kind of scuffed up here. And well, let me cover up this part. Yeah, it's also scuffed really bad there and a couple other places. I'm not, I am not wild about that. Um, I get that this is their first set. Um, really kind of, kind of gets me the feeling that they're less concerned about the collectability of the cards and more concerned about the, the blockchain aspect of it, which does not bode well. Oh, well, that's what I wanted to get out. A bunch of plus ones, minus ones, plus twos. These, these are nice. They kind of feel cheap. I mean, I might use these in actually my Magic the Gathering um, stuff. I'm not crazy about the blockchain aspect. That is such a poor gimmick that has failed time and time again. And we see kind of more scratching and scuffing on there. So, like, if I were to get this graded, like, that would immediately be a minus. So, if you're going to be doing these hollow backgrounds and stuff, you have to, you have to do it right. I don't have a good example on hand, but like Fabled, Saga, and Rise, um, their card backs are, are usually really good and um, scuff-free most of the time. So we got us a little salamander dude there. A little bird, I'm not even going to try to name, read the <laughs> names. Spine for, oh, we got a T-Rex. Check that out. T-Rex. That's awesome. That's killer. A turtle. We had a rare version of the turtle, didn't we? Yeah, different turtle species. But I don't know the, the difference in the... Oh, another turtle species. Soft shell. Uh, rare Rex. That's cool. I don't know what the, that thing is. <laughs> And we got a dinosaur. And once again, look. 
look at all of the terrible scuffing that you can't it doesn't brush away this is very disappointing but I kind of feel like and it's not it's not just there look you can see on the top of the cards they all kind of have this scuffing and it can't come from packaging right because you saw like you have this much space so they're never like hitting like they don't have a lot of wiggle room they're never hitting like directly on those edges so it's not coming from that it's coming from the manufacturing and the process of putting them in the card what that means is that the card material and the foiling and all of that is is cheap to me that's what that's telling me is that that is cheap materials so that to me immediately nerfs all collectability for the card because if they're all going to be damaged and scuffed what's the point here we have a bird dude I don't really care if you guys see the, the blockchain thing or not like I said almost all blockchain things like this go fucking belly up such a dumb gimmick. Um, card games should just not do that. Like, just focus on making a good card game, like a good dinosaur based card game. Like, I can't really think of too many <laughs> or any. I mean, there was the Dinosaur King, but you know, that had a card game to it. But so we got us a nice alligator, another soft shell turtle, a different kind of one. Ooh, we got a duck. Getting into the rares. Oh, we've seen him in common before. And, ooh, we get this guy. This must be a higher rarity. Because um, this is... It is different, noticeably so. Um... But once again, look at that. Look at that terrible scuffing. Let me see if I can get this on camera. Yeah, look. Look at that. Look at that. That would not grade nicely like at all. And that doesn't rub off. And look, there's a great big huge scratch. Terrible. Man, I was really hyped for these cars. I thought these would be a lot of fun to open because they were you know dinosaur related and now I'm just kind of bummed but I do want to give constructive feedback so my constructive feedback is you know quality of the cards please you know make sure you're using good quality and test do lots of prints and lots of testing before you start shipping out product because having backs with that kind of material that's so susceptible to scuffing um, I mean it's not just on the hollow part either it's on this part like they feel solid like at first but clearly whatever material that they used on this is just it's not it's not working it's not working very well because Every card I've pulled has been scuffed. This is not a good look. This reminds me of another blockchain card game that I tried to get into because it had a very cool artist behind it. It was Scamperland, and when their cards came out, uh, they were all damaged to hell too. I mean, here we got one that doesn't seem too damaged on the front nice cool little lizard guy another crocodile but you can already see like look that's all scuffing and stuff and that's not something that someone would consider a misprint look at that oh my god look at that oh my that 
that's not something like the, a collector like me would consider a misprint because this is it's just poor quality control at that point. And for the price point, this is a massive, massive letdown. And to find out that this card game that seemed really cool and unique is just tied to a gimmick like blockchain, it's just, it's just kind of heartbreaking. It's just like, come on, guys. Kind of got some corner issues. Have a big scratch right there. More scuffing. I mean, I'm a collector and I do enjoy playing cards and playing with cards, but you never, <laughs> unless, you know, you're playing certain formats or something, most of the time you're not playing with the highest rarity cards, you know? You are usually, you know, if there's no other choice, you're playing with high rarity, but for the most part, you're not. Um, from a collector's standpoint, you know, a lot of collectors like to grade. I like to grade a few cards every now and then. Ooh, I like that rat. But you can't be having this kind of quality control issues ooh a shark that's cool as shit i like that one you can't be having these levels of quality control issues and still be issuing out these kind of prices you know if you think of any of the big trading card games ooh, got a crocodile rare um You know, yeah, they'll have quality control issues, but not to this extent. Um, you know, when I think of Cannabis, MetaZoo, it's not to this extent where it's literally, like, practically every single card. He's pretty cool. Um, and that's that's the big disappointing thing is that it's literally like every single card and it, it to me I can't speak to the creator's intentions but to me it just screams we wanted to get some kind of blockchain thing going um, and the cards are secondary so we're just going to make some cheap product throw it out there for good price and hope that Someone um, gets in and starts buying it all up to try and do the whole NFT thing, which I, I, I don't. Like, if you want to do NFTs, like, do them like, I don't know. I don't know if there is a good way to implement um, NFTs. Um, I mean, Funko, you know, you can redeem them for physical pops, but... I don't know. This is very disappointing. That's a cool crocodile or alligator, whichever. I think it's, yeah, a crocodile because of the shape of the mouth. I like how some of them look like they're 3D modeled and some of them are painted. I don't hate the art. I don't hate the layout. I don't hate... Ooh, nice little possum thing. I don't hate any of that. I just hate the quality. Like, I'm just not getting the quality, and the blockchain part of it is not good. There we go, there's our last card. So, they went the extra mile, and clearly, to me, it felt like they had put, you know, thought into it, that they were willing to go the extra mile and package it really nice, and, you know, put a letter in there. And all of that, so I wanted to go the extra mile and give an honest review and not just do like a YouTube short showing off the cards. So, I mean, this is this is what happens is I give an honest review and they're, I'm tearing them a new one because this is unacceptable. I mean, look, 
Look at all these scratches. Hold on one second. Let me get it in there. It's hard to get it to focus on the on camera to show it. There, you can kind of see it right there. See? It goes all the way down. That's from the rollers, for those who don't know. But those kind of marks are from rollers. Um, some of the other scuffing, um, like this, is from cards rubbing against each other. But those lines that go up like that, that's from the rollers. That's very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Um, these guys, you know, I've seen their cards on Instagram. I had no idea from looking at them on Instagram that they were um, blockchain supported. I guess I should have looked more closely um if i did i might have not a bottom but if anything it makes a good video and i have some tokens for i guess magic the gathering <laughs> um yeah well let's get everything out of here and but yeah this was like this isn't cheap and their booster box their booster boxes are $200. Like, are you kidding me? Like, you literally just went with, like, the cheapest printing process and the cheapest kind of foiling. And, yeah, you got lots of different kinds of foiling, but, okay, look at this. I peel this back, and that's all, like, super sticky glue. You know, you had the playing field that had been hard glued up there. And it's 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 massive. Let me get this thing out because this is part of the part of the box, so it's part of the review. Holy cow! Is this a two-player mat or something? I'm trying to unfurl this massive thing. What the fuck? Yeah, so it is a two-player mat, guys. I can't even show you all of it, but. It's huge. Um, that to me either tells me that they actually put a lot of thought into the gameplay, or either they put a lot of thought into the gameplay and just not into the card production like at all. I don't know. I mean, I've supported indie trading card games before, you know, Nostalgics, um, Cryptic, like all these other indie trading card games, and some do have some level of blockchain in them, and some don't, like um, Interstellar has NFT stuff in it, but never before have I, I can't even get that folded back up. Never before have I encountered, um, for the price that this is, um, products of this quality. I mean, even e commons, like, you can see, like, there's scuff marks on them. It's hard to get it to show up, but there's, like, massive print lines, and it really looks like they try to make you think that it's a f fancy, high-quality product from the back, but just one look i mean virtually every single one of these backs has some form of scratching in it of various degrees or it has scuffing um very very disappointing i'm sorry to say but as of at right now dawn of hell creek unless you're really into nfts don't don't waste your money this is a piece of junk